So the first thing we've got to do is mix the cob. Now it comes basically ready mixed as a dry powder. We put about three bags of cob into the wheelbarrow, put the water in there, and away we go. So Scotty's got to grab the water and we just tip it in one end. Uh, four litres of water for each uh, bag of coal. Now my introduction to the building site, they said, here, meet Larry. <laughs> and this is Larry. And I had to mix a barrel of mud like this <coughs> in 90 seconds. <laughs> that was a, that'd be a, a mortar for plasterers or bricklayers. That's the beautiful thing about cob and clay. See, if I leave this long enough, it'll mix itself. And we, the water will go through it, but we can just gently mix the water through. And we don't have to worry too much about how long it takes. Because you don't have to, with, when you're working with cob, it's not like modern materials. You're not racing against time. You don't have to worry about cold joints. You just do what you want to do today and then do the rest tomorrow. You can come and make some more cobs. We've got plenty of cobbers here today, so we'll easily finish this oven today. From the, from the ground up we'll be doing it, so uh, just such a beautiful, easy material to use. Now this is the, the sort of heavy part of the job. We'll get on to next mixing the straw in it, and that's really fun. So what we've got here is the clay and sand mix. Now in South America they say that cob without straw is like a man without a soul. It's got no strength. So what we need to do now is get, and this is just the basic sugar cane mulch, crushed up pieces of sugar cane. Uh, you can use any type of straw, uh, wheat straw, barley straw, lawn clippings. And we just put that on there like that. And basically, for the dense cob that we're using for the internal walls of the oven that we're using here, we can actually, uh, we want, need about the same volume of loose straw. So I need a pile of straw almost the same size as my pile of cob. And then we tread that through. So this is where the fun starts. Okay, ladies. all over, in the middle again, see? Oh. It's like a great big fat stomach, and it's really nice to put on there. Oh, wow. We get into it again. I wouldn't be doing that. Huh? Now, now here we've got it. This is the ancient material of cob. This is the material that Thousands of years ago, they built palaces out of over in uh, the Europe and places like that, and they're still there today after 5,000 years. In more recent times, say only about 1,000 uh, years to 500 years ago, cob became the material of poor people's homes because it was readily available. But it turns out that it's just the best thing to build any building about out of, especially a pizza oven. Now, <coughs> what a cob is. It's an old English word that means small ball of clay. Now they used to make balls like that and just throw them into the wall. <laughs> and if you've got kids around, they tend to throw them with each other. <laughs> so what we want today <coughs> is that they're basically like small bricks that we're making. And that's one. So that's a cob. Now that's about the size we want, I suppose. We only want the oven wall about 100, 150 millimetres thick because we want an oven that'll heat up quite quickly. And we're not worried about cooking, say, two uh, you know, lo loads of bread. We'd probably be happy with one when you use it as a white oven. Yeah, like that's when you take yeah, the fire yeah. out. Mm -hmm. So if we just stack these down this end of the table, we can uh, you know, get this underway. And Sweet. we've got cob on its way, and we've got more on its way, so we can just uh, relax in making mm -hmm.
So now we've got all the cob production underway, we better have a look at how our base is coming along. So the base of the oven, all you're doing, all you have to do is smooth out an area. Uh, how big is it David? 1.5. 1.5 <laughs> metres square. We had to dig it a little bit wider here because we uh, didn't have quite enough. Uh, screed the sand, the bedding sand that comes in the kit, and then we're laying the foundation, the footing stones, into the sand. On top of that we're just going to uh, use our uh, cob without the straw in it and we'll lay the um, lightweight concrete blocks and that'll go, that work will come along fairly quickly.